those bills. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know you're hungry, but we got these to pay. Ah, oh, they just won't let us be. Hmm. What's this? Maybe we can arrange a little dinner. Years ago, our Nana was trained in the ways of magic. Her classmate, Kong Lee, defied their master and unleashed the power of a magical cookbook. Nana stopped them. But the pages of the book were scattered. Now Kong Lee is back to recover the pages and use them against Chinatown. At Wu's garden, Nana trained us to stop it. We three have the power to save Chinatown. And the world. A side of rice, a little broccoli. A flying bicycle, a secret recipe. And on the way home, I'll solve a mystery. fighter knows change is essential. <laughs> Learning moves is only one piece of the puzzle. <laughs> one must know how to adapt those moves to fit the situation. Only then will you truly be ready for anything. <laughs> Even a creature as small as this knows the importance of adaptation. I'm staged by a bug. Man, I feel dumb. Speaking of which, where's Toby? Did somebody say my name? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Did someone just drop a magic lamp? <laughs> First wish, get rid of those ridiculous pants. I got them from some guy down on Orchid Street. He was selling all kinds of silk clothes. But how did you make all that smoke? Uh, that's just Mr. Wu's low main. My low main? Barney! I'm glad I'm not him. Su Sin! Toby! Training is over. You better see what he needs. My low main! My delicious low main! Oh god, because some knucklehead forgot to turn off the stove! That was the last of the ingredients, too! You three! Go out and get me everything on this list! Oh, it's hard to read Mr. Wu's handwriting when he's so angry. I haven't seen him this mad since, well, yesterday? There, I changed. You guys happy now? Yes. Very. Oh, yeah? Well, Barney told me he thought the pants looked awesome. He must still have had smoke in his eyes. Let's do this fast. I call noodles. I call vegetables. In that case, I guess, uh, I call me... Great choice, Toby. Why, thank you. That's weird. What happened to all the stores? <laughs> At least Mr. Who's is still open. Sorry, Toby, but we're closed today. What happened to your shop, Mr. Sampson? I don't know. I just came in this morning and found it like this. Found it like this? I don't know what could have happened. It's like something just came into the store and... Ate everything! That's terrible. Actually, that's not quite right. They left the candied apples. But they like the normal ones. Nana needs to see this. What do you think? I think Wu's garden is going to be out of low main for a while. Sid and Toby already called, and it looks like it's happening all Shh. over town. This is Kong Lee's name written all over it. Maybe. But for now, I think you three need to get together. Huh? Hello. I see you've noticed my pants. 
Why, yes, they are silky smooth, just like the guy wearing them. Everyone's wearing silk. What is going on here? Maybe this town's finally got some style. Hey, guys. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. It was all over the street down there. Let's check it out. It looks like a toilet paper factory exploded. Looks a lot like what I saw at Mrs. Wan's. Only a lot bigger. What's going on around here? What are you wearing? Uh. Doesn't matter. Get these out the table free. <sighs> now! Who is that? Do you think he's famous? He must be. Would you wear those pants if you weren't? Hey, that guy's famous! Oh, wait. Where is that boy? Ron? We just need to keep following the stuff to its source. Well, we may have a problem there. It looks like we're gonna have to split up. I call this street. And I call this one. And I think I'll choose... This way. I really need to start calling things first. What is that? I feel bad for whoever has to clean all this up. Whoa. Hey! You can't park your car! Here? That was close. She's not good. Not good at all! How's it hanging? <laughs> hey, Worm! I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out which end is your face! Guys, you'll never guess what I just found. A giant angry worm? Uh, uh, wh oh, lucky guess. We've got him, too. We need to tell Nana about this. I'll see you two at Woo's. I heard he just finished a tour in Europe. I heard that he only dates millionaire supermodel Olympic ice skaters. Oh. I keep telling you, I'm nobody important. He's so modest. No more free autographs. Who is this guy? I am his manager. You are? Yes. Who's first? What's going on in here? Is Mr. Wu having a special or something? Barney? Hi. Hey, aren't those my pants? Okay. Come on. We gotta go talk to Nana. Giant silkworms. As big as buses. Someone must have gotten a hold of the recipe for Zhang Da Soup. What is it? A growing spell. With it, even a tiny little worm could become a giant problem. Why would Kong Lee want Chinatown to be covered in silk? Maybe he wants everyone to wear it and look as fashionable as moi. <laughs> Wait a minute. Everyone was wearing silk. Toby, where did you get those pants? 
I knew you'd come around. You want a pair for yourself, eh? I wouldn't wear those pants even if I had nothing else to wear. And it was National Silk Pants Day. So, you're saying you don't like the pants? The guy who sold them to you. Everybody is wearing his clothes. So isn't it kind of weird that the same day he starts selling all this silk, giant silkworms attack the city? Come to think of it, he did look pretty shady. It's the best lead we've got. You two check it out. Sue will stay with me to see if we can't find something to reverse the spell. This is where he was. Then he's probably still on the street. Let's split up. Who knew Bonnie had so much talent? I'm tired of signing. Can I take a break? No. Celebrities belong to the world. Keep signing. Ouch! My hand! Are you okay? Can you still make a thumbs up? Perfect. How do you like the new ad? That's it. I can't take this anymore. I didn't get into this business to sell out. What are you talking about? It used to be about something, man. It used to be about the music. You don't even know how to play music. I'm getting off this gravy train and going back to my roots. All right, who wants my autograph? Excuse me, Mr. Huang. Could you please tell me where you got those pants? They're great, aren't they? I expect you want a pair of your own. Um, yes, I do. You've got a keen eye for style, my boy. That man right there sold them to me. Thanks, Mr. Huang. Yeah, excuse me, I just want to ask you a few questions about where you got that silk. Uh, from silkworms. Regular sized silkworms. So you wouldn't know anything about giant silkworms? Of course not. That's silly. Why would you even suggest such a ridiculous thing? I didn't. Uh, in that case. What? What's that? Huh? Hey, you! Stop! Toby, I found him, but he's getting away. I'm coming. Worms have spread out of the downtown area and are now attacking all of Chinatown. What are you pointing at? We must have tried every ingredient in the restaurant. Not quite. Ah, there we are. Haven't used these in a while. They sure love that light. What is that? You don't want to know. But the secret to the antidote might rest in the most obscure ingredients. In you go. This just in, folks. Our sources tell us that the giant worms have retreated. They're gone! That last stuff must have done the trick. No, Sue. The antidote wouldn't have worked so quickly. And I have a feeling that powdered dung beetle wasn't the answer. Oh. Uh. This is the Garment District. I think this is where it all started. We need to call Sue. That was Toby. I think they found something. Psst. Over here. We followed the Silk Guy here. I think I found the side entrance. Follow me. What is this place? I think it used to be the Silk Factory. I think I found something! That must be the John Dasu. Someone fed it to the Silkworms. Come on out! We know you're behind this! Yeah! And we know all about your evil scheme to, um, dress everyone up in designer shirts! Why won't you just leave me be? You're not Kong Lee. Who's Kong Lee? My name is Mr. Fang. As in Fang's silk manufacturers? You're the one behind the giant worms? I only wanted to keep my business. The 
bills just kept coming and coming until I barely had enough to feed the worms. But when they started to grow, they were able to find their own food. And I was able to sell more silk than ever. Those worms almost destroyed the city. Fashion has its price. It doesn't matter anyway. My worms have all grown into these. What are those things? They're cocoons. My worms. All my worms. What am I going to do with these useless things? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? What else can go wrong? I like the worms better. What have I done? <laughs> Rabid, man-eating kind of way? Look what I found! The recipe for junk da soup! Now I can find an antidote! Toby, grab a sample of the soup! Already got it! Then let's go squish some bugs! I didn't think it was that bad! Did you talk to Nana? I can't get a signal! The moths must have knocked down the cell tower! Now how are we gonna figure out the antidote? No problem! We can handle one measly moth! Well, at least we still outnumber them! Oh. We need to split them up! They're taken care of, but there's more all over the city. We need to find the antidote. But we don't have time to get back to the restaurant. The answer has to be here somewhere. It tastes really sour. Does that help? Toby, you didn't eat it, did you? Maybe. It's sour. What's the opposite of sour? Unsour? Sweet. The worms didn't touch the candy store or the caramel apples. Sugar. Sugar. That must be the antidote. Sure, don't give any credit to the guy who eats first and asks questions later. I hope this sugar water does the trick. It worked on me, didn't it? Uh, 
Hi, Miss Pian Paul. Up there! Look! It's coming back! Not so big now, are you, Moth? That's one down, lots to go. How do we possibly get to all the moths before they destroy Chinatown? We don't. We bring them to us. If these moths are anything like the ones at the restaurant, we should have their attention. what we do. And here, I thought you were just a bunch of whiny, annoying kids. Hey, it slipped. I'm very proud of you three. You took care of this on your own. And now it's time to relax. Sid! Sid! Uh -huh. I have a feeling our work isn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you three been? Having a tea party? Some tea party? What for you, 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 and you? Get popping! I just came here to buy some fried rice. Oops. Well, look who came crawling back. I wanted to inquire if there were any, um... Job positions available? Something just opened up. You know, they say practice makes perfect. Really? Yes. Now start practicing. What's this?